Welcome to the TireMinder A1A walkthrough. In this walkthrough, we're going to go through all the necessary steps to set up your new tire pressure monitoring system. One quick note is if there's anything you want to hear again, you can easily rewind and watch over. So before setting up the A1A, there's going to be some pre-setup items you're going to need to do. Number one, charge the A1A for a full eight hours. Number two, install the booster. And finally, number three, you're going to want to put the CR1632 batteries in each one of the transmitters. So with the pre-setup out of the way, let's go ahead and learn to maneuver in monitoring mode. If you press the right button, it'll go from PSI to Fahrenheit to the next tire after that, from PSI to Fahrenheit, and then over to the next tire. You can go through all 22 tire positions using this, or the left button will go the opposite way. Now let's go through a very important part in the A1A setup, learning mode. Learning mode is gonna be where you learn a transmitter to a tire position. To get into learning mode, press and hold the left and right buttons for a full five seconds. After five seconds, you will hear a beep. Notice the L in the center of the screen to signify learning mode, and the red light on top to show there's no transmitter learned to the current position. If you press the right button, it'll take you to the right, and the left button will take you to the left. So let's go ahead and learn our first tire. Go ahead and put the transmitter on the top left tire position. Once the transmitter is on, you will get a green light on top and hear a beep. And then add the second tire. Hey, notice that the PSI shows. And the third tire, and finally the fourth tire position. Okay, let's exit learning mode by pressing and holding the left and right buttons and hold those down for five seconds until you hear a beep. Once you exit learning mode, you may have a red light on top. Do not worry, that is perfectly normal. All we're gonna have to do is set the baseline pressures. So you're gonna wanna press and hold the center button and hold that down for five seconds. After five seconds, you'll hear a beep. So now that you're in pressure setting mode, notice the P. You can use the down button to move the PSI down. The PSI is going to be defaulted at 116 PSI. Just use the left or right button to move down or up depending on your desired baseline pressure. The center button is going to move from tire to tire. Okay, move to the next one and now keep in mind, if you go too far, you can use the opposite button to move to where you need to be. So once you've cycled through all of your tire positions, after hitting the center button, you'll see PSI flashing. Right here is where you can change the units of pressure. So if you hit the right button, That'll take you to kilogram force per square centimeter. And then if you hit the right button again, that'll take you to kilopascals. If you hit the right button again, it'll take you to barometric. And then one more press will take you back to PSI. Hit the center button again, and this is where you can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius for your temperature. And then another press of the center button will take you back to the first tire position. So let's get out of pressure setting mode by pressing and holding the center button for five seconds. After five seconds, you will hear a beep. Hey, you may still see the red light on top. Don't worry, after five seconds that will go away. And that concludes the setup of the A1A.